there and welcome to write 10 stories in 30 days with me Maria Frankland. Uh, so we're now moving on from the last genre which was science fiction so just put that to one side um, we will revisit all your stories uh, towards the end of the month um, and talk about finalizing them and what you'll do with them next so all very exciting stuff um, but uh, today we're going to move on to the writing of romantic fiction so I hope you didn't think you were going to uh, go through this writing challenge with me uh, working in 10 different genres without touching romantic fiction uh, I know when I've taught this in, uh, in a face to face way in the, uh, the classroom it's been met by some groans from people but everybody so far has rose to the challenge so give it a go if nothing else it'll push you out of your comfort zone as, as a writer and you'll learn something new um, which is obviously one of the jobs of, uh, of this 30 day course um, it, it, to invite you to try things that you wouldn't have tried otherwise um, of course you might already be a writer of romantic fiction so you'll find this a breeze and you'll have a brand new story to show for it uh, so let's start by just looking a bit more closely at the genre of romantic fiction and think about why readers would pick up uh, a romance novel so I would, um, I've, I've put a bit of a list together here, you might be able to add to it or you might be able to post into the comments with some more ideas. Um, I think we pick up romance for escapism, um, for the enjoyment of that happy ever after element that's in so many romance stories, not always though. Um, and to experience those real depths of emotion alongside the characters so that in love feeling or, or despair feeling because that's obviously very two sides of the same coin um, to deal with the, this it often reading romance will throw up identifiable issues that perhaps you're having in your own relationship you also create a bond with the characters and I think that's the key thing that keeps a reader reading romance and then it's also that living out fantasy that heroic sometimes love interest that's uh, often depicted in traditional romance stories so readers of romance do have very defined expectations uh, and one of those is that it really should have emotional depth within your story um, so that the characters can be connected with that's absolutely key so issues as I've said can be explored fantasies can be lived out I would generally advise a happy ending <clears throat> but um, as, as mentioned before uh, lists don't always have to be um, happy uh, sorry love stories don't always have to have a happy ending sometimes they can be tragic think of Romeo and Juliet for example <coughs> so <coughs> let's now con excuse me <coughs> let's now consider what um, a love story a romance story should contain its ingredients um, so as already mentioned emotion and feelings is vitally important um, and this can be an exploration of uh, darker human emotions, so fear, pain, disappointment, jealousy, for example. Um, we, we're aiming for a building of tension through, throughout our story. Um, you need an obstacle getting in the way of that happy ever after, something keeping your, your characters apart, and that provides the conflict within the story. Um, a feeling that love can overcome anything, relatable situations perhaps, um, as always an atmospheric setting, lots of dialogue and we're going to look at that more closely tomorrow, I'm going to really talk about dialogue. Um, the avoidance of cliché if at all possible, uh, happy ever after or a tragic ending as already mentioned and a bit of backstory and uh, memories can really enrich a romance story. Um, so as suggested already um, a couple of times, readers often read romance for that happy ever after element and the triumph over adversity uh, element of story um, and one of the best love story writers of all time, quite an old one, is Anton Chekhov um, and all his short stories are available freely online. Um, 
a primary human need is to feel that sense of belonging. Uh, this is a, a deep-seated desire in, in most people, I would say. Um, most people wanting to feel that depth of connection that the human relationship offers. And reading a romance story allows readers to experience that depth of uh, emotion through the characters that they connect with. And I think that's the crux of why um, readers pick up romantic fiction. So that journey to happy ever after, as we know in real life as well, is never a straightforward one. Um, and we need to offer intrigue and readability um, to, to really create that successful piece of romantic fiction. So enough of my wittering about that, let's get to work with it. So I'd like you to start, you might just want to pause the video, uh, I'd like you to find pictures of two potential characters that you can use in your uh, romantic story. So your protagonist, um, whose uh, eyes the story will be told through, and their love interest. So you choose the gender, the age, um, and uh, Google Images is often a, a good place to have a look for characters or uh, magazines perhaps. Try not to use somebody famous, but this is often a good place to start when you're creating characters. And I'd like you to use a, a very character driven approach for the writing of this story. So um, because of this, you're going to get to know your characters in some depth um, and what's behind their situation um, before you start um, to write. Uh, so you're going to do this firstly for your main character and then for your love interest. So let's have, have you becoming acquainted with them first. So pens and paper at the ready. Firstly, give your, your photo of your character, give them a, a name and an age, give them an occupation, write a little about where they live, their home, their family information, uh, what are their interests. I'd say don't overthink all these prompts, just write what comes into your head. A talent they've been told they possess by somebody else divulge a secret they have, one thing they did yesterday, one thing they must do tomorrow, their biggest dream, their greatest fear, their first love and the most romantic thing they've ever done. Okay, so you're going to do that for both your characters, both photographs that you've that you've picked up um, from a magazine or from the, the internet. Um, some of you might even just work from your mind's eye and be able to conjure up uh, a character there. Um, I would say for this it's, it is nice to work from uh, a picture. So not all the information there, not all those prompts will actually make it into your short story. But I would say that the better you know your characters before you bring them to the page, the more your reader is likely to connect with them. So now you've become acquainted with both your characters, let's bring them together. So I'm going to give you some uh, some further prompts to examine and explore this. So some more questions. So how do your characters know each other? Where did they meet or where will they meet if they don't already know each other? So jo just jot down a few notes there. Or how long have they been acquainted? Have they only just met? Is one in pursuit of a relationship more than the other? Uh, if applicable, how do other people around them feel about them being together? Um, what's impeding them being together? What's getting in the way? This will be the crux of the story. And any other details you can think of now that you're starting to get to know your characters, hopefully a story is already beginning to emerge. Um, so any other details relating to the, the situation of your characters. So well done. So let those imaginations really go and uh, let's have the next exciting bit 
the opening of your romantic story now you've done a little bit of planning so for whilst writing in this genre you're going to again use a scene by scene approach to build your story um, so rather than planning the whole story before you write I'm going to allow you to let it unfold um, just like um, a, a relationship in real life would when we embark on a romantic relationship we never quite know how it's going to pan out and that's how I I'd like you to treat your story um, so you might want to um, flick back to your notes that you made on day two when we looked at what a good story opening uh, should contain um, and I do have some downloads on my website and one of them is actually about story openings if you'd like to uh, pop along to mariafranklin.co.uk um, and um, have a look at the downloads I have available. One is about story openings which brings it all together to the page but hopefully you'll have some notes from day two or you can um, re-watch the, uh, the, the day two video which goes into that a bit more. So we're also going to use a different planning technique whilst uh, writing uh, your romance fiction. So you're going to use a scene card approach. So um, you don't necessarily need cards, just uh, a piece of uh, A5 sized uh, paper um, where you're going to write some headings. So you could do it as a table or as a list or set it out in whichever way that uh, feels comfortable for you. But it needs the following information. So you want the scene heading uh, for each of the scenes that are going to be within your short story. Um, for each scene, what's the uh, the time of day, what's the date roughly, what's the era that you're going to be writing in, which characters are going to be involved in your scene, where is it set, so as much information about that as possible including the senses, um, any other information, uh, your scene introduction, what comes next, then what happens and lastly a conclusion to that scene. So once you've done that scene plan for your opening scene, it should literally write itself, hopefully. So that's your job. So in your first scene, just make sure you're introducing those two characters and offering some information what, about what's standing in the way of them being together. So enjoy writing your story opening and I will see you back here tomorrow where we'll look more closely at dialogue and we'll continue with your romantic story. Bye for now.